Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be your weekend forecast for air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We'll try to be specific and see what comes up for you air signs. Um, so I'm going to be using the Egyptian tarot and we'll lay out a few cards here to see what the messages are for you for this weekend in matters of love. So um, let's have a look and see what's coming. Okay, so you've come up as the swords, as the five and the six of swords. So what I'm seeing here is that you want to work through something or you're either ready to leave something behind and journey away with the six of swords. Um, or there's a situation here where you feel like you need to fight fight for what it is that you believe in. Now, we've got the temperance card and we've got the moon. So there may be a cancer or a Sagittarius involved in this situation, uh, air signs. Um, but ultimately what I'm seeing here, at least on your side, um, is that you're coming into a place where you're trying to protect yourself. And it makes me think that someone has crossed you, the swords cross. Someone has crossed you in a way that has caused you to protect yourself. What is the boat? The boat is protection. Now, it could be quite an intimidating situation. I say intimidating because we've got the pyramids here. You know, the pyramids were these intimidating. What do they represent? Um, you know, they're intimidating. They're uh, monumental architecture, yes, but they're intimidating. They're grand. They're they're powerful, but they're also very protected because underneath tombs were tombs were placed inside and underneath these pyramids. Um, so again, it makes me think a lot about protection. Now there may have even been two things that will that have happened or that will happen here for you. Two signs, two pyramids, two things, two air cards um, that are going to impact you. And in a way, you feel like someone's crossed you, so you either have to protect yourself by being defensive or move away from the situation entirely. You need time to think, okay? You need time to resolve a solution here. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of deep contemplation. Now, the Temperance card is reversed, which makes me think there, ha there may have been dishonesty in a situation. The Temperance card upright can represent honesty because it's Sagittarius okay Sagittarius is the centaur the straight shooter so someone has either not been straight with you air signs um, or someone has hold, held something back or been dishonest to you and in a way you feel like you've been crossed and that's why you've got your swords up as the six of swords here um, you want to defend your right to back away to withdraw or to take time away from this person now for some of you it's completely different i think the scenario with the six of swords could indicate that there is you're moving towards resolution um you want to do away with anxiety okay the moon is mysticism it's the subconscious it's coming up reversed so it's either you're ready to let go of this anxiety and move forward okay clear the air clear the karma and move forward um, but you're going to do it very slowly and that's okay um, but the reverse moon can also be um can also be that this whatever th this is that has happened these words these arguments have made you, have put you in a dark place okay have put you in a place where you're sort of second guessing yourself maybe you're second guessing your worth you're second guessing where this where you stand in this relationship um, you're really at a place where you need to think and you may even say to this person I need time to think or I need time to th figure things out um, there may be a breakup in the cards this weekend for some of you it may not be a permanent breakup it could be just that you need space and right now you're not not ready to talk okay with the swords crossed over this would indicate communication is not open because if communication does happen the, the blades are up it makes me think it could be um, it could be an exchange of, you know, some heated words here, or you may come to say something, you may come to sort of end up to regret later or think twice about or something that you wouldn't normally say, but driven by that anxiety, you know, you just can't help it. And you're just going to not withhold anymore and just unleash it all. So I guess the way to overcome this is to take the time out that you need. Um, 
but I see also resolution is, is highly likely here to happen. You've got the black and white pyramids. I mean, yes, they are upside down, but eventually, you know, they stand together and they can symbolize a strong union, the black and white, which is divine masculine and divine feminine. Um, so seeing that, I feel like um, at the end of the day, you're still there for each other. So regardless of what it is that's happening here, you're still there. Um, but he's, he's got the wings almost looking like a, an angel here. Um, and he's on a mound, you know, deities were seen as ones, were pictured as ones on a mound. So it makes me think you don't have the divine clarity that you're looking for. Some of you are trying to search for answers, you know, maybe you're praying, maybe you're, you're, you're talking to God or spirit and saying, send me a sign. What, did, what, what do I do from here? Do I forgive this person? Um, do I move away from them? Um, can we work this out? Are we going to get our happily ever after? Um, it's almost like the divine messages are being withheld from you at this time. So, you know, this weekend, I think it's, it's maybe pointing to that you need to figure things out in your own mind, okay, deep down in your own heart and, and where you stand because they're being withheld. Angels are seen as intermediaries, they're messengers, and this is reversed. So it makes me think that either... Um, there's less contact happening this weekend. There's less messages or angelic symbols coming to you this weekend um, or direction. Balance is, is not here. So, I mean, you are in the boat here, air signs, and, and it's you sort of alone um, in this boat. And I think the message here is that you need to be alone. You need to be either single or you need to take five minutes to yourself or you need to process things alone um but i want you to know with i feel like there's still reassurance that's either coming from this person or that you feel on an intuitive level um even in this dark period it's a dark phase yes and maybe you feel like you're steering the boat in the dark and, and you don't really know where to take it next you don't really know what's ahead and you feel like, you know, God isn't answering or you're not getting, you're not getting the answers that you're seeking. But I think in time, as you move through the darkness, you're going to start to see things that are going to be visible to you. Okay, you've got the eye, the eye opens up, um, but eventually it's going to come at a time after you've, you've sort of spoken about things, I think, if, if not with this person, then definitely with yourself at least. So um, I'll leave it at that. It's a very interesting weekend reading for you, Air Signs. I do hope it has been helpful. Um, thank you again for tuning in, for liking and subscribing. Um, I really do appreciate you popping over to the channel. Of course, all your lovely views and comments mean so much. So thank you again. Um, and we shall be in touch tomorrow for another reading. So um, tune in then. Uh, take care and have a wonderful weekend. Bye for now.